Hello and welcome to this week's Wellness Wednesday video. I am Pia Fitzgerald. And I'm here on behalf of Wild Factor in partnership with Columbus City Schools Staff Wellness Initiative. I'm here today to give you a treat. I'm here to talk about the five R's for leveraging the power of thought. And today's video will be about the term resistance resistance. Now it is my custom as I shared with you before to kind of set the stage with a little chuckle. I'm an aspiring comedian as I told you before. So here we go. Let me give you a little chuckle just to reduce some of the resistance. Why do gyms have the most rebels? You ready? Because they do a lot of resistance training. Yeah, go ahead and laugh, or maybe I created more resistance with my joke, I don't know. At any rate, resistance. We're gonna to talk today about resistance as it relates to relationship skills, which is one of the five SEL competencies that your district is uh, focusing on for the year. So relationship skills. So when you think about resistance, you think about conflict. And when we think about conflict, we are thinking about man versus self, man versus society, Man versus technology, man versus nature. But today I wanna to talk about man versus man in regards to conflict, in regards to relationships. Man versus man. So you might be thinking, okay, Paya, relationship skills, conflict, what do you have to say? Here's what I have to say. When it comes to conflict and man versus man, a lot of your resistance that's generated around relationships often stems from worrying about what other people will think. Many times when we're in conflict with folks, it's because we're consumed with the what will people think blues. Yes, the what will people think blues. And I want you just to think for a second. Well, to be honest with you, what other people think about you is none of your business. If you can just get that in your mind right away, that what other people think about you and the choices you make and the decisions you make or the things that you say is really none of your business. That's the first thing. But then also I want you to think about times when you said yes, when you should have said no. Times when you've compromised yourself in order to please someone else because you were concerned with the what were other people think blues. And so therefore, when you do that, when you constantly compromise yourself because you're concerned about those other voices, you're creating more resistance. And it's all resistance really is, is energy that you have to push up against to make things happen. And we don't really want that. We want to, as much as possible, reduce resistance so we can do what we want to do in a place that makes our heart leap. One more thing, when it comes to resistance, it's not all bad. Even the ones where there's the conflict, if you kind of think about it a little differently, think about it in terms of contrast. Contrast is designed to get you to look a little deeper, to consider something that you may not have been able to see before. In fact, my makeup is a palette of contrast. If it was just all one mono, monotone color, I wouldn't be as cute as I am right now. But contrast, it can bless you. So think about this, sometimes find when you can use resistance in a way that works in your favor. And then even with that, you'll be able to reduce some of that energy around it. All right, here's what I want you to do. Here's your homework, if you will. To get over contrast, to get over the resistance, if you will, that comes from being in conflict. Ask yourself, go for the five for five. Will this matter five minutes from now? Will this matter five days from now, five weeks from now, five months from now, even five years from now? If what you're struggling with when it comes to that conflicting issue is not gonna really matter at some point soon or even later, let it go, let it go. So this week I want you to just kind of be in tune, be mindful of when you're experiencing that resistance and ask yourself, go for the five for five. All right, thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's Wellness Wednesday video. Bye-bye.